Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about the fruits of the spirit. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. Let's get into the video now. So, what are the fruits of the spirit? The fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are the fruits of the spirit. We all need the fruits of the spirit because it is good for your health. When we listen to Jesus and believe him, his Holy Spirit lives inside of us and helps us to grow special fruits, the fruits of the spirit. These fruits will grow in our hearts and change the way we think and act. They are they help us to live like Jesus lived and are, are evidence that now Jesus lives in, in our hearts. Because you have the fruits of the Spirit in your hearts and you will live like, just like as Jesus lived. Now, let's read Galatians 5 verse 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, obedience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its own passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not come considerate, provoking and inviting each other. We, we, if we have the fruit of the Spirit, that means we should not be rude or mean to each other. We should not be killing anyone. We should, and we should not be annoying anyone or we should not be inviting anyone. Don't be mean to each other. You, you have to be nice to others so they can have the fruit of the Spirit as well. Or else this world will be bad. And if you have the fruit of the, the, the spirit, you will you will live just like Jesus lived. Some people are provoking each other and they're buying each other because they don't have the fruits of the spirit in their hearts. So if we have the fruits of the spirit, we should not do it for bad. Because some people are provoking each other and they're buying each other. They're they're hating each other, fighting each other, and they're killing each other because they don't have the fruit of the Spirit. So if we all had the fruit of the Spirit, this world will be a better world, and we, and there will be no fighting ever again. Even one of the Ten Commandments says do not kill, and people are killing each other because they hate them, and they don't have the fruit of the Spirit. So you, can, so you see, if we have the fruit of the Spirit, then this world will be a better world. We all need the fruits of the Spirit. So this can be a better world. We need love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All of them. We need it in our hearts. So this world can be a better world. And so you sit and so you can you be a better person. So let's see what love is about. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. So, so love is all of those words. Love it is, is not dishonor others. Love is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It has no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. That is what love is. And if we can all love each other, there will be no evil. 
and there will be no lies. Cause there will all cause the truth will always win. Now let's move to the next to the next fruit of the spirit. Joy. Joy is like happiness in the air. Joy makes you happy. And if we all had joy, then nobody will be sad. Nobody won't be emotional. Nobody won't won't be angry. They will always be happy. They all they all they will always have joy in their hearts. We should we should all be happy because happiness is health. Sadness does not give you health. It gives you stress. It gives you pain. It does not give you health. So that's why we should all laugh and we should all be happy and we should all have joy in our heart. Moving to the next fruit of the spirit, peace. Peace is like when everything is calm and when everything is good. Peace is like when everything is calm because you know Jesus is there to save you. Jesus is always there in your heart, no matter what. If something is going wrong, don't feel sad. Don't feel sad because Jesus will come to you and save you. So that's why we should all have peace. When we're scared, when we're frustrated, don't ever get it frustrated because God is always there to help you with, with, with all your struggles in your life. Moving on to the next fruit of the spirit, patience. Patience is when you when you are able to accept or tolerate delay, trouble, or suffering without getting angry or upset. So patience is when you tr- Trust in the Lord. Lord, if the Lord says they're gonna get something for you or they're gonna do something for you, it doesn't matter how long it takes for God to to do it. Just trust in the Lord and be patient to wait for His time when the time has come. The next fruit of the spirit is kindness. Kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous, and humble. You should always be kind to everyone, no matter if they're mean to you, no matter if they're kind to you, always be kind to them. Because if they're rude to you, how how is being rude to them going to help you m- making them kind? It's not going to help them making them kind. So that's why you should always be kind to others. You, we should always be kind to God as well, because if we don't be kind to God, how is God going to do His work? So that's why you should always be kind to everyone. Moving forward to the next fruit of the Spirit is goodness. The quality of being morally good or kind. You should always be good to others. If you see a homeless person on the street, what do you do? Try to help them out. If you don't have anything, just give them all you have. Just always try to be good to others. Don't be don't be rude to others because that's just gonna make them more rude. Or and always be good to others. And always be good to God. Because if you don't have goodness in your life, then it's not gonna take you anywhere in life. For some examples, like um, carry, like hold someone's hand, like an old lady's hand, to get to help them get their uh, cane for them, or help them sit, or or be g- good to uh, to children just like you, to, to or to share your food. Those are examples of being good to uh, others. Moving on to the next fruit of the spirits, faithfulness. Faithfulness is when you, is the quality of being faithful or loyal or be or trust. You should always trust in the Lord and always be faithful to Him. When you trust in the Lord, you know that what He promised. When He promised or says what he was going to do for you, trust in the Lord. 
that he will do it no matter what. Don't always think, mm, God forget about me. No, he doesn't forget about you. He's all your th he thinks about. He always trusts in the Lord and always be faithful to God. Moving on to the next, to the next fruit of the Spirit. Gentleness. The quality of being kind. Tender or, or mild mannered. It's kind of like you are really good at being mannered. Gentleness is like how you, you care for each, for each other. You, you're always gentle to them. You make people feel better. It's like the softness of an action or effect. It's like uh, being kind. It's always, it's like being kind to others. You should always be gentle to others. Because if you want them to be gentle to you, you should be gentle to them. And if someone's suffering right now, always try to be gentle to them. Always try to make them better. Be caring to them. And when you're gentle, your presence makes people feel comfortable. So, that is what gentleness means. Last but not least, self-control. Self-control. The ability to control oneself. Self-control is the ability to control oneself. Even if someone stepped on your toes or someone spilled on you, don't get mad. Don't get ready to fight. Just stay calm. Control yourself. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Try to control yourself. And be like... <sighs> Okay, it's okay, it's an accident. You didn't mean to step on my, on my toe or to spill it on me. Try to, even if someone is saying trash about you, if they're being mean to you, control yourself. Don't be like them, because if you just be like them, you'll get nowhere in life, and you, and it's not good for you. It's not good for your health either. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learn the fruits of the spirit. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so I miss out a new video. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Love y'all!